Hey y'all, it's Sable. I'm so glad that you're joining me for class here today because today I'm taking us through a dumbbell upper body blast workout. This should take about 20, 22 minutes and all you need is one set of dumbbells. Eights to 15s should do the trick. So we're gonna work off the clock for this workout routine because me and talking and counting reps at the same time never works out. I'm gonna go over here and get in position, take your dumbbells and your water with you so you can get ready to move with me today. So our first set, we're gonna start with our right arm into a hammer curl and an overhead press. We're gonna do right side 30 seconds, left side 30 seconds. And then we'll cue up for palm up bent over rows, 30 seconds. So we have three rounds, four sets each round, two exercises per round. That's a lot to take in right now, so just join me and we'll figure it out as we go along, okay? Here we go, I'm starting with 10s. Use whatever weight will challenge you so that you can finish each round strong. Here we go, 30 seconds. Hammer and press. So we're keeping that weight kind of close to the body. Up overhead here. And you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to how fast you're lifting. This first round, we're like, yes, we can do this. We can do anything for 30 seconds long. It's gonna be a cakewalk. By the time we get to four, it won't be. And we're gonna to switch to the left arm. Ready, here we go. Grab my timer out of the way here. All right, guys, keep it going. One arm at a time. All right, you need to grab your other dumbbell for those palm up bent over rows, okay? Palm up because I really wanna keep that bicep engaged for this whole first round. So you're pulling from the floor in front of you. Elbows are wrapping around that bottom rib. and squeeze in that back. Stick your chest forward and your booty back. That's it. All right, we get a 30 second rest. I'm gonna park my dumbbells. You get 30 seconds between the next round. So that's one. Now you know what to expect. Do you need to change your weight? Now's the time to do that. Roll those shoulders out. Grab a drink if you need it. We got 15 more seconds on our rest. I swear I won't be this awkward the whole time. And get ready, we're gonna grab that right dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift it up overhead. So this workout is gonna hit the muscles from your rib cage and up. We're talking lats, we're talking traps, chest, bicep, and tries. That's what I mean when I mean upper body. Probably about two more here. Yes, one more. Switch it to the other side. Now today, you're gonna smash that upper body, come back tomorrow, maybe hit one of my cycling classes and some core work. Treat this channel like your virtual studio. Something for you to choose to get that whole body worked every day of the week. Two more here. One more here. All right, we're gonna hinge it over. I'm gonna grab that other dumbbell. Here's that bent over row. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this time here. Pull it back. So you see how I'm kind of hinged back in my hips, weight in my heels, get there, and pull those weights from in front of the knees.
One more. Perfect. Go ahead and park your weights. And here's your 30 second break right here. So that's two. We have two more left right here. Now, I love it. I love it when the old rules get bent or better, even broken. If you're a rule breaker, go ahead and smash that like button for me right here. Because we can stay here with weights like this that help us finish every set, every rep strong, and still have the same hypertrophic effect as if we were lifting bigger weights for shorter reps. We're gonna take that right side again. Here we go, here's round three. We're talking about adding that lean muscle mass with consistency. Using these weights consistently will still get you the chiseled body results that you're looking for. One more. Awesome. If you're using the right weight, it should be getting a little bit heavy right here. These are combo moves. So you're working multiple muscle groups at the same time, giving you a bigger burn effect as well. We'll get some isolated moves in the other two rounds. Give me one more right here. Perfect. Grab your other dumbbell, hinge it over. Roll those shoulders in and back, pull here. Pull that belly button up and into your spine. We're gonna take two more. One more. Awesome, park those weights. 30 second rest, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little bit of a sled on. Yes, that's what we like to get at. We're starting to get into it. How do you like to spin your wrists? Let me know in the comments. I'm a bit of a dancer, although my dance moves are not really for film. <laughs> we have one more round of these. We got 10 seconds. Go ahead and grab your weight so that we're ready to rock. And I'm gonna throw a little change at you on this last one. We're gonna do doubles, okay? So you're gonna take them both and press it up. Going for maximum burn right here with both at the same time. And what we've done by sticking with the same muscle groups for four sets, we're fatiguing them all first before we move on. So they won't be there to recruit in the next sets, in the next rounds, I mean. That's it right there, hinge it over. I'm gonna hit our 30 seconds for these. Let me turn this way, roll those shoulders up and back, pull. Take one more. It should be hard. Yes. All right. That's the end. Four sets on our first round. We're gonna get ready to transition to the floor for the other two rounds. All right, I hope you join me on the floor now. We're getting ready for our second round. We're gonna do the same thing, 30 seconds per move and then 30 seconds rest. Your first move looks like this. You need both dumbbells. We're gonna do a kneeling Arnold press. So palms are facing in about chin level, Rotate up and around, light at the top. Got it? Let me punch that clock. So rotate around right here. Keep your elbows soft at the top. You don't want to pinch your head off. Lightly tap in those weights. And I also like to keep my hands kind of soft on 
my dumbbells at all times because that's really making me focus on my shoulders. And again, biceps and lats are still working right here. You got one more for me? Yeah, there we go, one more. And then we're gonna switch into tricep extensions. So we're elbows in tight and pushing up overhead. Let me hit that timer. Go ahead, you guys, go ahead and sit and start and push here. Keep those elbows beside your temples. Weights are coming down behind your neck. Let me shimmy to the side for you. You guys keep going. And you see that extension at the top? That's when you really get that tricep to work. Push. One more. Awesome. Here's our 30 seconds rest. So this is kind of neat, kneeling to isolate the arms and the upper body. You don't see that in a lot of workouts, but it cuts your lever in half if you think of your body as your lever. So you have to focus, you have to pay attention to where you're working. I love weights, but I also love mindful movement. And I try to connect that with weightlifting and weight training as well. Roll those shoulders up, down and back. Let's get ready to hit our second set right here. In three, two, one. Up and around, light overhead. So here, try and think about moving both arms evenly at the same time. That's the thing about dumbbells. Sometimes one arm wants to work faster than the other. We're trying to balance and build strength evenly. That's it, last one there. All right, into those triceps. Together. Overhead. So I might have lied just a little bit when I said there was a core workout in this. You're engaging your core right here to stay steady, to stay locked in place. And we got two more. This is it right here. And set them down to rest. Perfect. 30 seconds. Now I'm feeling this one, but it feels good. It's a good type of burn, right? When you know that you're getting that pump right where you want it. <laughs> I may or may not be looking at myself in the reflection of my TV. You know, you use what you got. We got about 10 seconds. I'm gonna keep that closer. All right, here we go. Third set. Somehow that started on its own. I don't know. But I've said it before in other videos, I use a Gym Boss Mini Max timer. I'll leave the link to that in the description for this video. I use them for almost, almost every workout that I do. And I have for the last four or five years. <sighs> Breathe through here. We're gonna take about two more. One more. Yes. Triceps, punch it. Are you ready? Elbows tight. Let me turn to the other side, keep it going. You guys just started your clock. Don't fuss with me, I'm not cheating. And push overhead. Can you push out one more? We need that 30 seconds right here. We need it, right? Take a little shoulder and chest opener, pull that back right here. Cause you got one more set of these. And I want you to finish strong, finish every rep, make it count. And we got five seconds. Where you at? Did you have to go down and wait right here? I hope not. I hope you stick with what you chose. Stick to your guns, like you're building guns right here. Here we go, 30 seconds on that Arnold press last time. Pop. 
palms in front of the chin. Can you get two more? Big breath. Probably one more. Yes, we can. We got 30 seconds triceps. Let's get it done right here. One more push, one more push. Woo, we did it. All right, 30 second break right here. And that's four rounds of that, right? That was four rounds, right? Yeah, we're done. We're gonna move on to our third, third set of exercises, okay? 30 second break, meet me on the mat face up. We are down for round three on the mat. Okay, we're gonna take single arm chest presses and pullovers. Let me show you what that single arm chest press looks like right here. Because you're gonna hold up the opposite arm. So we're gonna start with just the left down and up. Right here. I'm gonna punch my timer. Just that left is meeting the other arm. So by holding up that other arm, we're taking, we're talking about time under tension. So it's working even though it's not moving up and down. That's the last one here. Hold up that left side. And right is coming up and down to meet it. So make sure your wrists are straight right here in line with your elbows. And that elbow is coming out. Now try and find your second rib out and up. And then squeeze those chest muscles at the top, baby. That's the last one there. Let me show you that pullover before I hit the clock. So again, elbows are soft, weights are coming over the crown of your head, and we're gonna pull over to your hips, right? Keep the elbows soft the whole time. Let's hit it for 30 right here. Elbows soft, weights are together. Crown of the head to hip. So keep your back pressed into the mat, into the floor, whatever you're using at home. This is your last one right here. Good, set those weights to your side. Here's your first 30 seconds right here. I'm gonna sit up so I can talk to you guys. So at home, when we're working with minimal equipment, I'm really gonna try and give you the most bang for your buck. So we're not gonna sit here and do 50 biceps. We're not gonna sit here and do 50 triceps. We're gonna work multiple muscle groups. We're gonna get it done. And today's workout, I hope that you're feeling it. You're gonna be out of here in a few more minutes, all right? I'm gonna take it back down to the mat setup for your second, second set. All right, alternating chest press. Here we go, starting with that. Let's just start with the right this time. So go ahead and draw your belly button in a little bit here while you're at it. Shoulders pressed down into the floor. That's the last one on that side. Timer's going. There we go. And we got it. Squeeze them at the top. So if you were waiting on me to punch that clock, you got an extra two reps, it won't kill you. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Take one more. Yes, bring those weights together. Get ready for your pullovers right here. Elbows soft, hands soft, down and up. Now, paying attention to the length of that arm is what's gonna keep stress off your shoulder joint right here. Making sure those 
elbows are coming down beside your rib cage and your lats. You're not dropping the weights behind your head. That's it right there, last one. You ready for another 30 second break? Ready for a drink of water? How's my hair? I was down and up, it's probably mad, right? But if you don't look like trash after you get done with your workout, are you even doing it right? I don't think so. Five seconds, let's take it on down to the floor. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit that timer right here. And we started with the right last time. We're gonna start with the left for the third set right here. Squeeze them together. We got one more. Awesome, let's take it on the right side. So those arms should be getting tired of hanging out up here, but your motivation is don't drop those weights on your face. It's really hard to get into a dentist right now this year. We got one more. Alrighty, bring them together. Park them at your hips. Get ready for your pullovers. Two and one, extend overhead. This is the last time on these. I'm with you, we're about done with this workout. One more. I know you can. Yes. All right, y'all. That was your 20 minute, maybe 22 minute upper body dumbbell blast. Thanks so much for joining me for class. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you can hit more body pots here. Body pots? Where am I from, Boston? More body parts here with me more often.